soy. This is a great topic. It's really important to talk about for both men and women. Um, so the problem with soy is that it has the potential to raise our estrogen levels. And that's true, especially when we're exposed to toxins and chemicals in shampoos, makeups, cleaners that also have the ability to raise our estrogen levels too. So if we're eating a lot of soy and being exposed to a lot of environmental toxins, that can be problematic for our health. So um, there's some things to consider when eating soy. Um, first is your source. So organic, non-GMO soy is going to be a better choice than um, a non-organic soy usually found in highly processed foods with soybean oil and soy milk and stuff like that. Um, so good types of soy would be organic tofu or organic tempeh, which is fermented soy. I would say that those two are your best types of soy. And if you're going to be having a soy source like those two that I just mentioned, maybe just limit it to a couple times per week, especially women, and um, maybe pair it with a brassica vegetable. So your brassicas are your broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower, and things like that. And those are going to help our bodies detoxify those estrogens. So organic soy products like uh, tempeh or tofu are going to be your best choice. Maybe limit to a couple times per week and pair with a brassica like a broccoli, cabbage, or cauliflower.